I'm Chef Picanti and thank you for visiting my website. I last ordered meals from Homestyle Direct in 2010. At the time, there might have been 1 mil out of 12 I gave the thumbs up to. I was quite excited to see how far this company has progressed. Overall, I could say I'm quite happy with the improvement of the home style direct meals. There are still some basic flows like microwave trays without any compartments, which often leads to uneven eating. One improvement the company made is that you are no longer required to defrost all of the meals and they can be microwaved from frozen. I respect Homestyle Direct for trying to make senior meals at a very low price point. In my opinion, they are not worth more than $5.95, including the one I gave a thumbs up to. The old-fashioned meatloaf with a baked potato and mixed vegetables was far from old-fashioned. It is one of those heavily processed beef patties. However, I thought the beef family with Mexican rice and shock wagon vegetables was good. Traditionally, a shepherd's pie is made with lamb. A cottage pie is made with beef. But that seems to be a mislabeling that's common in this country. I've never seen a cottage or shepherd's pie served without mashed potatoes, and I hope to never see one again. Gordon Wamsey would toss the chef from the kitchen for that recipe. The cheese lasagna was good, but very small. Overall, portion size were good for the price of these meals, and I'm especially happy with the almond vegetables that came with each meal. I found the mac and cheese to be painfully dry and flavorless, I might even say arid. The cheese and kelida with corn was good, and that is meal you don't see on many prepared meal delivery menus. The chicken a la king was good, and the portion size was plentiful. I also thought the ground beef stroganoff was a good value at $5.95 per meal. The bacon and cheese omelette with ash browns and a bagel might have been the best meals I personally purchased and tried from this company. Some of the eating instructions are incomplete, which can make it difficult for seniors. For example, there are no instructions as to whether someone should re remove the bread or pods of butters that come in the tray. Most of the meals I tried were bland from lack of seasoning, but I could be fixed with a salt and pepper shaker. I would not consider any of these meals gourmet, of high quality, or created with any level of culinary skill. In my opinion, they are an inexpensive solution to feed senior citizens that may have not have the means to feed themselves financially and price slightly better than supermarket TV dinners. I'm Chef Picanti, and thank you for visiting my website. Oh yeah, Chef Picanti! No. For the best in gourmet reviews, 